satisfying conclusion. I know a lot of shows get to their final season, their final episode, and it ends with kind of a, that's it? That doesn't happen on the last episode of Desperate Housewives. The last 15 minutes are actually really cool and satisfying. Bob and Lee, uh, uh, Bob and Lee, very similar to those two old guys in the balcony on The Muppet Show, make a memorable appearance. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Mostly because I kept it a secret for myself. I read the parts I had to read, but I actually want to see what happens for myself, so I didn't read it. So, I don't know. I'm clueless like the rest. Um, clothes. <laughs> Uh, some stuff from the production office, some old scripts. I think, uh, no, we didn't I think steal it. no, we didn't steal anything. We got our, we got our chair back. We got like free is, we got free moisturizer from the from the hair and hair and makeup trailer. Well, that's always nice. Sure, yeah. Free sunscreen. <laughs> what? Summer's coming up. Yeah. yeah. I wanted so bad there in, in the house of Bob and Lee. There are silhouettes. Uh, remember the old school with the Olin Mills where they would they would cut out your you know in black they cut out your silhouette and they put it up on the wall put your name on it. There was one of Bob and Lee in the house and it was in our the very first scene we ever shot. It was in it and it lasted in our house the whole time. And I was gonna go back up and get it and we never went back to the set to the houses so I never got it. I may have to still go back to the house go back to Universal and take it. It's funny you ask that because I I did not uh, I did not intentionally steal anything. However, I wear a wedding ring on the show that the prop guys give me every day and then I take it off at the end of the night and then on the last day I forgot to take it off and so that the wedding ring that I wear and that Lee wears ended up at home with me so I still have that I hope it's made of plutonium you know, it's actually kind of funny because when the last day, for me, for shooting, I didn't know it was my last day. At that point, I hadn't realized it yet, so I went home and I was like, oh my god, that's it. I was like, oh my goodness. I was upset. Death? I'd yeah. say Mike's death is pretty uh, epic. Yeah. I mean, that came out of nowhere. I also loved uh, Irina's death. Um, what a great death. Tornado death was awesome. <laughs> I don't know, there's, uh, how many people have been murdered? Like 62 I mean, people? It's, 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 it's a tough sensitive subject, but I definitely think Edie yeah. Britt's death was pretty epic. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I think one of the best death scenes was, was Mike Delfino. I mean, I think of all the deaths, that's the most interesting. And, and I think the most shocking. <laughs> I thought, uh, uh, I thought that it was very poetic that the pick, white picket fence that went through John Slattery's chest and killed him in the tornado was unique to Desperate Housewives because you have that, that element of a neighborhood um, yet a gruesome death uh, coincided at the same time. Oh, my favorite death. Oh, no worries. Well, if I had to pick, well, the one thing that comes to my mind, I've always really loved the uh, storyline in the, the supermarket where they're all held up. So I, I thought that was very interesting. But there's so many, I don't think I can really choose. Thank you. We love you. Thank you for watching. I hate not having him on set anymore. Just thank you for watching. We, we are unbelievably honored and uh, proud to have been a part of this. And without you watching, it would never would have happened. So thank you.